Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another layout using, this is the July kit. Uh, this is the seventh layout using this kit and it took me 50 minutes to complete. And I'm kind of doing my recording out of order, but I have everything written down. So, um, should be good to go. I'm going to use some of, you know, a lot of the pattern papers from this kit. Um, I think I'm up, I'm going to be starting my 11th layout with this kit. And um, I'm showing you the branding strips. Some of them is from my mind, uh, Fancy Pants, Burlap and Bouquet. And that's what I'm going to use as the background. And then I'm going to use the hard paper and some October afternoon paper. And I'm trying to keep it in, you know, the brown tones. And then I'm throwing it a little bit of aqua. And um, I'm mounting the photo on that pattern paper. The October afternoon pattern paper and then there was another one <clears throat> that had a lot of words around it and I really like that pattern paper so I'm going to mount it on that first and then I'm going to cut um, into that heart paper also and I'm going to you know mount it three or four times and I really um, I'm really liking the colors and tones in that either way kit I'm one that um, always like the bright tones anyway like even I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and the brights was my favorite of the color families and I used to um, use the brights colors on everything more than any other um, color family but I'm liking these tones of in the either way kit and that's what I like about you know getting kits is I'm doing stuff that, you know, in color combinations and everything that's outside my comfort zone and I like that I like that you know it's not necessarily papers that when I look at it online that I would say yep that I want that yep I want that because of the fact that I'm totally going to be um, attracted to or leaning towards the brighter colors because that's just what I like so by you know looking at the kits for me the summer nights was yep yeah, that's the one I want right off the bat I knew I wanted that one and then the other one I really had to go back over and over again and go because because of the amount I scrap I like to get four kits so both kits and both add-ons because of the amount of scrapbooking that I get in a month done, I feel like I, you know, I need um, more pattern papers and stuff. Um, it, it seems that I'm always behind, but I, I get about 25 layouts done in a month. So it, um, or more, because depending if I work a lot or not, I can get up to 40 layouts done in a month. And um, so I just feel like I need that amount of pattern papers. And I really like the fact that it, it kind of changes it up for me. Now, while the camera was off, the battery died or something, I w took out my We Are Memory Keepers letters and I spelled out my title and it's just called sesame chicken and this is our favorite meal we've been making that meal for oh you know some dishes that you do they come and go like you like them for a while and then you don't have them for years and then all of a sudden you're like oh yeah I remember when we used to make that and then you might do it again well this meal here we've been making it for at least 18 years and it's not something that you make often because it is a lot of work it has a ton of ingredients and it's a ton of cutting um, but it doesn't help with the fact that we make a huge batch so that we're able to eat it every day for a week when we make it we usually make it once about every three months <clears throat> the amount of ingredients that we buy it probably cost us $40 to make it or maybe 40 to $45. But 
But then again, we have enough for a week, right? And when I make it, um, I have to bring some for my friend at work because she wants, you know, she always says, so have you made that sesame chicken yet? Have you made, because she loves it and she loves it when I bring it to work. So I usually text her and say, don't bring food tonight. I got sesame chicken and then she'll grab something for dessert and then, you know, we share, we kind of have lunch together and, and, um, share a meal. We do actually do that often, her and I, whether it's grilled cheese or whatever it is, we'll bring enough for the two of us. And then we'll, uh, we always have our lunch together and everybody at, at work knows that, you know, Susie Q and Nicole have their lunch together. So they, they're nice enough to make sure that we can have our lunch together if it's possible. And then every year for everybody's birthday, you know, I always ask, what do you want for your birthday meal? And I know they're going to say sesame chicken, except for my oldest. Um, she says taco salad. And I mean, that's the easiest thing to do, but <clears throat> all the other kids say sesame chicken. And me and my husband, we say sesame chicken. So, um, like I said, it, it is quite a lot of time to cut everything apart and you got to let the chicken marinate and all this stuff but it's so yummy and uh, you know after doing this page I was like oh we gotta do this as soon as it's not so hot outside because it does take a long time to make so you don't want to be making it if it's you know quite warm outside but uh, I'll, I'll be making it as soon as fall is back not that I'm wishing fall to be here don't get me wrong so anyway I um, I was out of the ease in the kit so I just took an F and made an E for this and you know if you make it so that it's in the middle of the word you don't notice it as much so I made it so that it was the second E and then again I wanted to ground my title so I use some of those uh, gold chipboard letters that came in the kit there was little gold flags that came in the kit and I'm going to put it to the top of the top cluster and then I'm going to use one of those um, hearts that came in the kit and it almost looks like the background the texture of it and I'm going to put that right on top of that little flag and then I'm going to put a little tag and some enamel no enamel dots and then some twine in brown and white and then the top cluster Again, I like using the leftover stickers, so I'm going to cut what's, you know, left of the sticker and it's sort of a brown and yellow, so it goes perfectly with this layout. And I'm going to put part of it with the top cluster and then the rest of the sticker with the cluster that's right underneath the photo. And I'm going to warn you, at one point in this uh, video, the video is going to go really wonky and I have no idea why. Uh, it's going to go really bright and kind of foggy looking and I have no idea why. So I apologize for that. Um, this, I think it's this part of the recording. Um, my video that I have been using for, you know, 300 videos now, I think it's kind of dying. And um, so I'm, I'm, I am figuring out what else I can use to video Take my videos and up to now my iPhone 5 seems to be the winner so we'll see and um, I took a project life card and I put it at the bottom of the layout and with the letters that came on one of the simple stories stickers I'm gonna write down favorite meal and then with the yellow stickers also that came on um, the simple stories sticker sheet I'm gonna write our so our favorite meal so this you know layout has a title and a subtitle and then the middle cluster I'm gonna put one of those little hearts again um, sort of a fabric heart and then a little tag that says awesome the best that rest left over of the sticker some enamel dots and some twine in brown and in white and then in each cluster I'm gonna put some chipboard chipboard gold star and this is the sticker that I cut out and I've already used the main label so now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting around and just keeping sort of the 
leftover, you know, what when they printed it, it kind of went over the side. Well, I don't like to even waste that. I use that and I just kind of put it by a cluster and it kind of grounds the whole cluster and I like the effect that it does. And then, and then I just put uh, a wood veneer of the globe. Why? Because it's our favorite meal in the whole world, which, you know what, to be fair, we haven't eaten a lot of the meals of the world. You know what I mean? But for now in our world, this is our favorite meal. So I thought it was appropriate to put that little wood veneer on that card. And of course my glue is uh, plugged and somebody asked me what I use to unplug my glue. And I just use a pin. Any kind of pin will work. You just stick it down, unplug it, unclog it, and then, you know, go on your merry way. Another tip is to keep your glue upside down. And that seems to help. But if I go a few days without using the glue, then it, it still dries up. So you just use a pin and unclog it. And I use the Scotch 3M, which is my favorite wet glue. And it works really well. Oh, and somebody else, Janet, asked me if the We Are Memory letters are better you know, stickier than the thickers. And yes, they are like, I can't even lift them. Now, whether they they'll stand the test of time, I don't know, like, you know, maybe five years from now, I'll find one at the bottom of my page protector. Don't know, but time will tell. Oh, and one thing that I forgot to mention too, is after I met at my photo on one of the pattern papers, I did take out the um, gold POW glitter paper that came in the kit and I mounted the photo on that and it just kind of brought in I at that point I knew that I wanted to bring those chipboard stars gold foil looking stars so I just thought that it would bring in some of that gold and I wanted to bring that in and then I'm just now I'm just gluing everything down and sometimes it takes two or three times to get that glue unclogged but you know it is what it is uh, and this is where I took out some of the twine in brown and in white and I just ball it up and I just put it in each of the clusters and I kind of noticed that I hadn't used twine in maybe you know two or three layouts before that so I just made sure that I used some of that twine so now here are some close-ups thanks for watching bye